Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we are going to learn about DHCP protocol. First of all, what does DHCP stands for? Uh, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. And what does this protocol do? Uh, whenever uh, a device is connected to a router, it requires some IP address. So how we will uh, we will assign that device an IP address? Uh, do we have to manually give a device an IP address? Uh, that is so difficult uh, task to do. For example, you have multiple devices in your house. There are a lot of uh, devices. You have a, a, a smart washing machine. Uh, there are four to five mobiles. There are four to five laptops. How will you give a give a, a different IP addresses to all these devices? So it's a very difficult task to do, uh, which is a hectic. So there is a there is a DHCP server in your uh, server installed in your router, which gives automatically whenever a device is connected to the router, uh, it give, assigns an IP address to the uh, to that device. So how does this protocol work? So first of all, what is the goal? Allow host to dynamically obtain its IP address from the network server when it joins the network. Like whenever it's a, a device is, where a device comes to the router, uh, he I, it asks for an IP address and the route and it's the responsibility to the, of the router to assign that device an IP address. Can renew its lease on address in use. This means that, uh, that the IP address that the router assigns to that device uh, is for a limited period of time. And after that, the device can renew its lease. Allows reuse of address, only hold address while connected. Uh, uh, this means that <coughs> Um, for example, if we assign, if we manually assign some device an IP address, uh, it will be booked for as for a such period until we don't reach that IP address. So the IP address is wasted because uh, none none of the other devices are connected 24/7 to that uh, uh, router. So the IP address has been wasted. So what does it do? Uh, it allows reuse of address like uh, if someone is not connected to that router uh, it will uh, assign that IP address to some other devices support for mobile users who want to join network uh, for example we uh, when we use mobile phones uh, we just uh, <coughs> come and connect to the Wi-Fi and it is very easy to join the network through DHCP protocol now the question is how does DHCP overview uh, protocol works so uh, for this uh, we we, uh, we will see this uh, animation uh, suppose this uh, this is a client and this is a DHCP server and here is the address of the DHCP server now the, uh, the whenever a client or devices come comes to the router it uh, it doesn't know where the uh, what is the address of the DHCP so it will broadcast all the uh, devices uh, connected to that router so uh, it will broadcast is there a DHCP, DHCP server out there uh, and uh, you can see that my source address is 000, 000 because it does it does it does not have yet any IP address uh, and the destination address is all F bits like um, it's a uh, broadcast and 67 is the port number for the DHCP server uh, DHCP server will respond will broadcast uh, and DHCP server also does not know that uh, which device has uh, requested so it will also broadcast uh, I am a DHCP server uh, here's an IP address you can use uh, and it will offer some IP address uh, and uh, 68 is the port number for uh, client side uh, and how does it uh, track the um, uh, client client because if if two if two devices simultaneously access the DHCP server, they are distinguished by the transaction ID. Now DHCP request. Okay, I'll take that IP address. The client confirms that. Okay, I am going. I'm going to take this IP address. Uh, and then DHCP acknowledges back. Okay, you got that IP address. And now the DHCP has. Uh, uh, maintained in its record that like uh, I have assigned that IP address to someone.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग अर वीडियो